Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3 back another kicking graphic novel review. Today we're doing a really good book. When Rebirth started, this was probably the best title. Uh, it's really, really good. DC Universe Rebirth, Wonder Woman, Volume 1, The Lies by Greg Rucka, Liam Sharp, and Laura Martin. Uh, I got the Barnes & Noble Special Edition with exclusive content. Uh, the exclusive content is like uh, character sketches and stuff, you know. Uh, it's not like extra story or anything, as far as I can tell. But I'm going to read you the back of the book. The truth will be revealed. Heroic, iconic, unstoppable, armed with her lasso of truth and imbued with the power of the gods themselves, Princess Diana of Themyscira, known to the world as Wonder Woman, is one of the greatest superheroes in history. But who is she really? Not even Wonder Woman herself knows for sure. Memories of a life she never lived are at the edges of her mind, yet she feels them in her heart to be true. And most shockingly of all, she cannot find her way to Themyscira, the mythical island of the Amazons. Though hidden from the outside world, the path to her home has always been open to her, and now it has vanished, possibly forever. Unfortunately, there's only one person on Earth with the knowledge that can get her back to the island, her greatest enemy, the feral beast woman, Cheetah! Will this unlikely alliance shine the light of truth on Diana's darkest secrets, or bury them and her forever? Find out in Wonder Woman Volume 1 The Lies, exploding from the pages of the blockbuster DC Rebirth event. Legendary Wonder Woman writer Greg Rucka returns to the character for the first time in years and joins renowned fantasy artist Liam Sharp for one of the most momentous stories in Diana's history. And it is really good. Um, I, t I really like this book. So... Uh, Wonder Woman, Volume 1, The Lies. Lots going on in this book. So Wonder Woman's, like, having memory problems. Like, uh, she's not having trouble remembering things. She's remembering multiple things that contradict each other. She's having continuity problems here. She's remembering her origin different ways. Like, she's remembering, uh... Zeus being her father, but she also has memories of being born from clay. What does this mean? What is all this? Uh, is she really a goddess? Uh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. She actually goes to Olympus, and then when she gets to Olympus, it's like not there. Olympus is like gone, which is weird. It's like been destroyed. So it's like, was being a god like an illusion? Um, and she goes to get Cheetah to help her. Uh, and Steve Trevor's also helping her out. Steve Trevor's kind of doing his own thing, too. Um, by the way, since her Superman's dead and they're going to rewrite continuity anyways, they're getting her back with Steve Trevor, uh, just so everybody knows that's, that's going to be the thing. But she goes to help uh, herself find Cheetah. She fights some hyena dudes, some cat people. Uh, she does find Cheetah, and in this continuity... This is the one where Cheetah is uh, the avatar for this like Cheetah God dude, and uh, but she's also cursed with a hunger for human flesh because she lied about being a virgin. But the God knew she wasn't a virgin the whole time and just wanted to punish her for it. Uh, <laughs> and I really, I really like this uh, story with Cheetah and Wonder Woman because Cheetah almost kind of wants to like Wonder Woman. Uh, and but doesn't want to be Cheetah, but also she wants the power of Cheetah, but doesn't want to be Cheetah. It's a little hard to explain. But at night she's hunted every night by the hyena dudes. And there's also this like other side story about um, some women, and then there's like a robot woman that that I haven't gotten to the rest of that yet because I've only read through volume two. Uh, but then, like, Steve Trevor is going to be sacrificed to, like, the same god that gave Cheetah her powers. And this god's also tormenting these people, so Wonder Woman has to fight this god with, uh, Steve and Cheetah. It's actually a really dope-looking, like, monster god, dude. He's really cool. So he's trying to get free. And then, um, Barbara, or Cheetah, is freed from her curse, becomes, a uh, human again, which is pretty nice. Uh... So she's back on the human side. I think in continuity now she's already Cheetah again, but whatever. She'll always go back to being Cheetah. Uh, and then Wonder Woman returns to Themyscira with Steve. But Steve's like, Wonder Woman, something's wrong here. Uh, everything's red. 
And Wonder Woman's like, oh, wow, Mom, you're alive again. Because remember, her mom was turned to stone in uh, the New 52 or something like that. I don't know. Screw the New 52. Well, screw parts of the New 52. There were good things that came out of the New 52. Like Batman. Batman was pretty dope in the New 52. I liked New 52 Justice League. But like New 52 Superman. Go fuck itself. <laughs> uh, I liked half a New 52 Green Lantern. I don't know what we're still talking about here. Uh, but then it turns out... Wonder Woman has actually not been back to Themyscira since she left originally to return Steve Trevor home. Apparently, she actually hasn't been back. Every time she's been back since then has been an illusion. Someone pranking her ass. So, pretty crazy stuff. It's like, actually, it was a really emotional book. The whole book's really emotional. But the lasso of truth ended up shattering the illusion or something like that. Uh, and it was a kind of a heartbreaking end to this book. I, I really enjoyed this book. <laughs> Rebirth Wonder Woman is 100% worth reading. You definitely have to break into this book. It is wonderful. Uh, I don't think they're still printing the Barnes & Noble Special Edition. But it's the same story even if you get another one. Uh, you can get it physical or Kindle. I read it physical. But it's a really enjoyable book, and I do highly recommend it. Even if, uh... Even if from some angles in this book, she kind of looks like Sylvester Stallone in the face. But, like, just, there are just some angles in the book where it's like, Is that Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> uh, but it's a great book, and I really, really enjoyed it. Definitely worth rereading. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing you all later.